One bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we, the many, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. Amen. 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 We pause now to ask God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness <coughs> of God. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your word. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinance of your mouth. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, Lord, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. 
Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven, and you have one Master, the Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples. Do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we celebrate St. Bonaventure, a doctor of the church. He was called the seraphic doctor, which comes from seraphim or an angelic doctor, because of his teaching very appropriately had weaved in the needs and the experience of the people of the day and he was able to bring the teachings of the church to a level where everybody understood and it ignited in them some flame of faith, some desire to live more closely and to follow more closely uh, with Jesus. Now, he was a great learned man. He studied in the University of Paris, at a time in medieval times when there was not any much great education. He was a Franciscan who followed in the footsteps of St. Francis, and he became a, uh, educated in philosophy and theology, and he received, he was called a master. And yet, here is the reading that is chosen for today. Call no one master, <coughs> call no one teacher or doctor of the church, call no one these things, and yet, he was all of them. He was a father to his brothers in the Franciscan order. He was a great master in theology and in, in philosophy. He was a great teacher. Um, and in so many ways, it doesn't seem to fit. However, it does if we listen to the last. Jesus is teaching them not to place themselves because of titles above others, that they should be humble and those who ever humble themselves will be exalted. And indeed, St. Bonaventure was an extremely humble man and did not hold his education or his place within the religious order of the Franciscans in any great esteem, only his love of Jesus, which is what inflamed so many people. Interesting fact about St. Bonaventure is he was, um, but St. Francis died when he was only a, a young infant child, but he became very ill, and it was through the intercession of St. Francis that he was healed, and later on became a follower of St. Francis himself. We ask the Lord to help us also to be on the Bonaventure, to be on the, the good journey, on the good adventure in Christ, and to follow him with love, and with great commitment and humility as St. Bonaventure did. And that in his, his spirit, in the spirit of St. Francis, that we may be little, but accomplish much for the kingdom of God. Let us stand and pray. <laughs> Confident in God's love and compassion, we bring our prayers and needs to him today. For church leaders, may they be given the grace to hear the voice of God and respond in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit to protect all who are weak and vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are burdened, may Christ the healer banish all difficulties and carry them in their struggle. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those gathered here, may God help us to rest in Christ and offer all our labors to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed away, may they rest in the perfect peace of eternal life in heaven. 
most especially for Ruth Fangman. Remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? For Marxist Earl, who's having an angiogram today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we entrust our burdens and our petitions to you today. Hear and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Lord, be pleased with the sacrifice we make to you, Lord God, for your mercy. That you may be a living witness to be cleansed from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at our hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Saint Bonaventure be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For so as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, we bid your church, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With one heart and one voice, we now pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Bonaventure, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing the second verse of One Bread, One Body. Many the gifts, many the works, one in the Lord of all. One bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup.